Joining us live is Senior Strategic Defence Analyst from Australian Strategic Policy Institute, Dr Malcolm Davis. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We just heard there the officials in the US believe that the attack by Iran is, quote, inevitable and could be as soon as between now and within a week. What do you anticipate? Look, I think it is uh, virtually inevitable. I, I would be absolutely staggered if Iran backed off at this point. So I think what we could see is a, a, a multiple type of attacks uh, by Iran. So they could use long range ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, drones fired from their territory against Israel and also against US forces. I think that's important to note is that this is not just against Israel. It could be attacks on US forces. They could also use uh, terrorist attacks uh, originating in the West Bank and in Syria and Lebanon. And finally, they could use Hezbollah. Uh, they could activate Hezbollah to la launch an offensive into Israel's north. So potentially all three. Uh, and I think the key issue is how does Israel and the US respond? So you agree that it, it, it does sound in inevitable. What will you be watching out for? What are your main concerns? Well, look, I think uh, obviously everyone will, we will be watching, um, you know, uh, what these, the Iranians are doing in terms of deploying their military forces, um, in terms of deploying ballistic missile launch vehicles. There's, you know, really good open source intelligence uh, available now uh, that can give us some sort of advance warning on where the Iranians are deploying their forces. Um, I would also be looking at whether Hezbollah is mobilizing in a, on a large scale. Um, and in terms of the Israeli and US response, I think that it's almost certain uh, that uh, Israel will respond militarily to an Iranian attack. And so the key issue is what is the tit for tat escalation dynamic emerging out of that? How does this escalate in from essentially Israel's war against Hamas in, in Gaza into a regional Middle Eastern war between Israel and Iran and Iran surrogates? And I think that's the key issue that we're going to be facing in the coming week is that this war does escalate into a regional war. And what does it mean for Australia? Well, Australia is not involved in this conflict. Uh, we do have personnel in Bahrain that are supporting maritime operations against the Houthis, and the Houthis are likely to join any escalation against Israel. So it could see an uptick in uh, op operations by the Houthis, which would require our personnel in Bahrain to do their jobs. Um, but the reality is that, you know, we didn't send a ship. Uh, we did not send a naval vessel at the request of the US. So we're not there in the firing line. Uh, and I think that's, you know, the, the most uh, serious, serious potential risk that we could face here is the possibility of some sort of terrorist attack or, or you know, sort of violence uh, if this war does escalate. But we're not in the firing line. We're not in a combat role. We're not present. So that does limit our ability to support the Americans in that sense. Dr Malcolm Davis, thank you very much for joining us as always. Thank you.